Good morning. It is April 9th. It is uh, about 11.38 and coming up on 65 degrees. Very warm out here. As you can see, two of my hives are doing quite well. Strong. Coming in with all different color pollen. Doing real good. My third one here, kind of weak. We're going to be helping her out as much as possible. The plan for today is to go through these boxes completely. We are going to make splits. I am going to checkerboard. I am going to possibly uh, help out number one by giving it more stuff. Um, might even go ahead and start with... Uh, the process of me learning how to do some queen rearing. Uh, I got my frame with me that I made up. As you can see here, uh, I just made a frame and I used a dowel and I just made the holders out of wax that I melted. So we're going to get into this real fast and uh, hopefully everything will work out real good and newbies out there who are watching this maybe they'll learn something and um, hopefully I'll learn something too because this is my first time all right back in a second all right so I'm back I've lit the smoker and I've gotten the hives ready number five number six number two I uh, got them all ready so I can start making splits we're going to take a look into number one right now because it's my weakest hive and I think I need to replace the queen so as you can see there's nothing on that side and we're right towards the middle so we've got some brood here got a band of pollen a band of honey so it's the classic it's the classic uh, upside down rainbow that you're supposed to be seeing with bees but this queen right here I think she's petering out um, I noticed that my girls are agitated you know most of the time in this hive this hive has been combined a couple of times already yeah there's my queen right there you can see the mark on her she's got a red mark on her though she is laying she's not laying heavily nothing like yeah and there's nothing on the other side so I need to if I can find some queen cells that are in my other two hives, I'm just going to put the queen cells in here and let them take care of it. It's time that I got rid of this queen. I got her last year. Um, I'm not sure if she was one from the from a swarm that I collected or if she, I don't think she is. I think she came from when I made when I made uh, I took some frames. From the number three and I stuck it over here so they can make their own queen I think that this is the queen she must not have made it well because it was kind of late in the season so she must not have made it very well but I've noticed that th these girls they're they're really hypersensitive so I think um, I'm gonna have to get some frames a brood from one of the other hives and uh, put it in here just to help them out for right now so let's close them up and we'll get right into number three and we'll start the rest of the process now, as you can see on hive one or hive three I mean as you can see I've got bees all the way up to the queen excluder uh, they're already sealing it down and I did do a reverse on this if you remember from the last show so I'm gonna take a quick look to see whether there are any whether there's any brood up top but other than that I am going to start splitting these because that I want more bees I want more hives as opposed to more honey um, the honey will come I know but for right now I want to get bees because as all my watchers know uh, I'd rather collect swarms and make my own Okay, there's nothing on that but it's got good pulled comb so we're going to stick that one in there all right 
So they've got honey in this one. They're just starting to pull. That's good. So we'll put some honey over here also. And we'll just slide the rest of these to the side to see what we're looking at. I wish I had my helper here to film me. Somebody made a comment that I ought to buy a head cam, but those things are really expensive, so that's not happening anytime soon. So there's the reason why I got stuck. I have a lot of brood comb that's being built on here. Let's see here. Now, you can see that there's a couple of, come on back up, there's a couple of uh, swarm queen cells that have been built on the bottom there. I don't see anything in it at the moment, but I know they're there. So that's one that I need to keep an eye on. Okay. Split these things up. Take a quick look inside. More burr comb on the bottom. I'm going to scrape that off. All right, so let me go ahead and scrape that off for right now. Be right back. So I scraped off the burr comb from those two. Um, I left the queen cells. I just scraped off all the rest of it. You can see she's up here laying already. So this is a good one to go into a new hive. Got honey, got lots of them that's getting ready to pop. See if I can find some babies that are young enough. They got another cell right there that they're working on. I do see lots of young babies right there. So they can build a queen. Trying to see if I can find the queen on here because I don't want to move her. If I don't have to, I'd rather just leave her right here. Yeah, there's a lot on this side too. I don't see the queen. I don't see the queen, so that one's going to go in here. It's going to go right there. Okay. If this one is full, we are going to take this one and we are going to put it over number one so that it can have more. And this one's really full. And, all right, so let me knock them off here. Okay. Yeah. Nice babies. Nice brood. Nice pattern. So this one right here is going to help out number one really good. Um, Sweeper. Put you on pause. I'm going to sweep this off and I'm going to put it over into number one. So I checkerboarded the top box. Uh, so there's now an empty frame, full frame, empty frame, full, empty, full, empty, full, empty, full. Uh, this is the top box. I've taken, I left one little thing of brood up there, the one that had the, the swarm cell on it. Um, I'll figure out what I'm going to do with that in a little bit. I took a couple of frames. I ducked some bees up in here that had some brood on it. And uh, we're going to let them start working right there. Now I'm going to get down into the box beneath this. All right. So we're down here in the bottom box. We're taking a quick look in. The first frame had nothing in it. Take a look at the next frame. It's nice and heavy. Now, 
it is loaded with honey capped on both sides empty in the middle let's see here yeah honey on that side honey on that side we're gonna need some honey over in this box right here so I'm gonna put this in here so if you'll bear with me just a half a second there we go I'm gonna take the bees and all and I'm gonna slide it right in here So now I have a frame of brood in here, and I have a frame of honey and pollen, and I've got the frame that I'm using for my queen cells, and all I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to let them just kind of polish them out, get them ready, and then I'll move it over to another box. Let the queen lay in it. Well, we got ourselves a queen cell right there. It's just rounded. Can't see if there's anything in it yet. I don't think it is. I think it's just one of those ones that are filled. That's, that's in the middle of the frame. So that's a supersedure cell. I hope this queen isn't doing bad because she is my best queen. Now there's a nice big boy for you. Right there in the middle crawling right up. I hope you can see that. Yeah, big drone. Let's flip this thing around. So as you can see, they've got, there's, there's eggs all over this thing. So this will be another one that I could pull. There's a little girl just starting to eat her way out. So the queen has been back in here. So she's already laid this whole frame. It's out to the end. And she's just started laying in the center again. I wish I could find her. I'd like to be able to find her so I could capture her real fast. If you look at the top up here, you can see where they're sealing that one in oops crushed a couple they've got the drone cell sitting up on top of all the rest of them I don't see the queen I know she's here but I don't see her I'd like to see her because I'd like to catch her but as long as, as, long as I have uh, babies and all the splits I'm fine now this thing is full I mean this thing is absolutely loaded with brood it's quite heavy actually on both sides wonderfully full I see no queen cells on here as of yet so I think I've caught this girl before she's gone into um, into swarm mode So I'm gonna slide. Uh, I'm gonna slide this one back, and uh, I can see that. Let me see here. So the next frame is also very full. They're just starting to hatch out. Got pollen, all these babies. So. Again, I don't know where the queen's at. The only way I'm going to find that out is to look for babies later on. So I'm going to slide this one right down inside of this box. Push that over that way. 
and uh, this one's got it too. Let's see. Trying to see if I can see any babies up in here. See where they're sealing them. If I don't see any fresh babies, it's going to make it a little hard for them to raise a queen. So this one looks like it should stay here. Let's see this one again. This one's mostly full. Okay, go back to this one. These girls really aren't bothering me. Number one, hives, as I said, has always been aggressive, but this one here, they don't bother me. That doesn't mean that I'm brave enough to take off my suit. Because I always, every time I got my suit off, I always have these ones, these certain girls that like to follow me around and give me a hard time. Alright, I got some nice small babies in this one that they can work with so that's good so I'm gonna take this one over here to number five and I'm gonna slide it right up in here now yeah, let's see here So this has got honey and some pollen in it. So we're going to slide that over here also. A lot of drone cells, but that's okay. So I'm going to slide that right there. And uh, time to start putting some empties in. So that one's already drawn. That one's drawn. I'll slide those two right there and see if I can pop this loose. Oh, frame fell out. Had to fix that. So they're just starting to pull some comb on this one. So this is a good one to uh, go inside here. They can finish pulling that out. Slide that over here. So I get completely empty one now and put that one in here. slide this one over take a quick look at these see what we're dealing with ah. so we got lots of pollen in this one lots of good pollen on that one and this one has got pollen and capped honey and they're just starting to pull the honey on that side. All right, so I need some honey for this one over here. Put that right there. We're gonna take this whole frame over here. Sit it down in there. So now that gives them a start. As loud as they are, I'm guessing they do not have the queen. So I'm good with that. They're going to have to make one out of her. 
Everybody's pretty loud right now. It's hard to tell. All right. Another empty frame. So we've got completely empty frame. We've got a pulled frame. Another empty frame. A frame with brood. Uh, a frame that's got some comb on it. Be next. Another frame with brood all over it. Completely empty frame. Brood, brood, brood. Honey, pollen. Doing good. All right. So we're going to close number three back up. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this back on it. I've got some, it's got some drawn comb on it from a hive that I had lost before. So we're going to take that out. I got to fix that piece. So we're going to take this out and let them start pulling new. Now let them pull new. Now take this, I'm going to close them up. Smoke them so that they go inside. Because I don't want to hurt them. We'll just slide that right on over. Now you can hear, they're pretty loud too. Doesn't mean that I don't have the queen in there. Just means that they're highly annoyed with me right now. So I'm going to close this one up. And that'll be that. I've got a new one started here. I've got some that are over here. I think i got to get some more bees into. got to take a better look at it and see. So it's got a handful of bees. It's got to start. They're loud too. So I'm going to put some drawn comb in there. I know that this has got, I know that this one has uh, some babies of the right age. This one's got babies of the right age. This one's got babies of the right age, and so does that one. So number three, I have split into four. And if I find that I am having any problems, I will combine them back. But for right now, number three has been split into four, and I've borrowed some brood to go into number one. So, it's time to get into number four. I'm going to close this one off. Alright, so just to save on some film time, I didn't show you what I did to number four. Because it's too hard for me to handle the camera by myself and uh, try to do what I did. So, I'll explain real fast. So, what I did is I took number four, and I split it up, and I made number five. So, there's now number four and number five. I took number three, and I split it into number one, number two, number six, and the ones that I was putting in the nu nucleus hive, they're all sitting over here at number seven. So all of the field bees will find their way back to their regular hives, while all the nurse bees will take care of all the young brood that's put in there. Now, I think that the queen was on a frame that I stuck in number six, because number six went quiet, and everybody else is still buzzing loud. So as far as I know of right now, I have a queen and number four and number one and either in number three or number six I'm not sure 
Okay, so I took a brood from three and put it in one, and then I split it up into, turn number three into four different hives, which is now two, three, six, and seven. I'm really happy to do this because the queen in number three is fantastic. She, they are very clean. They are wonderful um, honey makers. They draw their wax. There's not a lot of burr comb. Um, they clean up after themselves. They're just really good bees. They're, they're mild, calm. Number four, pretty much the same thing. I think that the queen stock came from number three um, at some point uh, during all of the the switches that I was making last year, I, I don't remember. I'd have to go back through my old films and, and see. Uh, I tend to think that she's one that, she's a queen that I got from a swarm. I know that number three is definitely a queen that I got from a swarm. Number one, however, was a queen that I had made from number three because they had lost their queen. So if you remember last year, I had gone after nine swarms. Uh, one extraction, and through the loss of queens, because a lot of them turned out to be virgin queens, they just didn't make it back to the hives. I got quite a few predators that run around here. Um, wasps and hornets and dragonflies and everything. So they were eating them. I've already killed two carpenter bees that were hanging out around the hives while I was doing this. Uh, but I had three strong hives, well, I had three strong hives go into winter, and I came out with two strong hives and, and a weak one over here. So right now I'm looking at seven hives. I think I'm doing pretty good. I'm just waiting for the swarm calls to start coming in. Um, I made an order through Man Lake, and I ordered 20 new bottoms, uh, deeps. So that I can start more stuff to catch swarms, do my extractions and whatnot. Uh, I got another film that's going to be on that. So, from Burnley Farm Apiary, this is Thurman. Y'all take care.